Welcome to Tech Guide AY, a channel for tutorial and tricks. So can still we have a free website? The answer is yes. We can still create a free website using Google Sites. And of course, Google Sites are very good for search engine optimizing. So let's move on. To get our video, make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon. To start with Google Site, go to sites.google.com So I have already logged in into my account so it didn't ask me for an email and a password and now we can find a gallery here that is available it's a pre-built template that is available in a Google site that we can choose from so they are already elegant so we can choose any one of those to get started or we can start with a blank so I'm going to choose here taking a class name so now this is our site now how to work with so you can see on the right side there are layouts available this is a header so you can see here you can change the image we can upload from our computer or we can select an image that is available in a google site so there are plenty of pictures so you can take it from here or you can go through your url or you can search through the internet I'm going to choose one of those we can change the name computer class we can have a header type we can see a large banner we can have a back cover that is big enough so large banner a banner or title only so that will be a type that we can choose from so by default we are choosing a banner and now we can choose our text here that we can edit so class overview okay let it be what it is here we are going to add some layout so we see here going to add like this so we can take it to the top here we are trying to adjust yes it is now available so you can add a text or like a, add a image or files whatever you want okay, you can add like youtube videos so if you have already link so you can check So you can see here I'm going to take this one as an example. So adding a and selecting this one. So we're having a YouTube here. You can add another like files or calendar so that will be available. So we can add a contact okay, insert. So the calendar is available now. So we can see how it looks like by clicking here. See something like this. It is available here. Going back. And we can add like more things. So now uh, changing some color pattern. So it is available also. So we can add like more text. So more text can be added. We can have like images we can have an embedded text that we can embed in our code that is from the URL we can have a file from Drive Google Drive so now uh, we can have a table of content that we can add in the starting phase it's table of content so we can have here so as we can add a image crossover so we can have a multiple image that will be moving around so google image search so searching like okay a class room okay taking different picture and inserting you can see that multiple image has been added so you can remove or add a text that will be visible so I'm going to add okay alt text in class 
so this is good for like search engine optimization so alt text and you can add a caption also so in class that will be visible classroom that will be visible on the image so to insert we can enlarge this one according to our need so we see a crossword here let's see the preview so it's a crossword so uh, you can have like multiple images if you want to edit or remove these things you can remove from here so if you want to change a color here so you can have a different color backgrounds or you can make a duplicate section so you can remove this one so there are multiple options so now we can have like multiple tools are available on the right side that we can add like chart form sheets and other things and going through our themes you can change the themes as well so by default we have chosen the themes so automatically it will be applied and in the page segment we have like home schedule and newsletters so only three pages available so we can add like more pages so going through our pages and here we can insert a link or a page so if you want to uh, add a link for like facebook or other you can directly have a link here or if you want to add a new page so you can add a new page giving some name activities and the activities are available here you can drag it anywhere that will be available on this if you want to add more pages under this activities so you can just click on the three dots and add a sub page so here like class adding more so add in canteen and we can see that the files are available so going look class so there is nothing Okay, in a canteen we see a canteen so we can add now content here so you can add like okay different collapsible text here just click and it will be available so that will be available when someone click this so you can add a buttons divider placeholders you can add a YouTube videos here so you can add a calendar you can add a map navigation maps so you can add somewhere checking an India one okay Taking anything like okay, drop a place marker. Okay, so select. So uh, enhance the map that will be visible, and okay, you are done. So now viewing on getting a preview and saying in the canteen. So now we have a Google map. So you can see it's a uh, available ready now going back and you can add our docs or slide or sheets or forms so let's check to add some forms here so uh, going to pages and in a class we are going to add some forms so in a class and we are going to add some forms so I have already made a form before so you can check my previous video so forms insert so you can see the forms is available here so you can make according to our need and the form is available in the google side so now you can see in our class the survey form is available here so it's very easy and intuitive to use uh, with the different tools that is available in. so you can add a chart and other things now going to settings and you can find there are like multiple settings that you can change so mode where to put a side or a, at the top means a navigation that was available on the top so you can see this is currently on the top and we can make it on the side also the menu will be available on the side so okay let's check that so now the menu is on the left side 
so going to settings and checking other we can check what type of color it should be transparent or what so it is now available as a transparent okay now we can add a brand logo so we can design our logo and add here so you can upload our image from the computer and we can have a fab icon that is actually available on this one this is actually a fab icon that we can add to our website uh, viewer tools let it be default so so anchor link yes so page last updated you okay you can hide this one or not so custom url if you have your own domain name then you can add it to your own domain also it's very uh, useful if you have a site running and very good in search engine optimization and it is visible in google search very efficiently then you can add your domain and link to your own domain so uh, google also has an analytics tools so you can add the google analytics tools and add how how people are coming to your website and for how much time actually the people are trying to view your pages and on which pages they are spending more time or lesser time we have a new feature called announcement banner so we can see show banner so it will be available here somewhat at the top so in a color we are going to choose some color and some message so this is our message and we can see that it will be available somewhere here so this is a message this is an announcement message so we can uh, make it available or not so according to our need so uh, we have gone through our settings and now uh, we can see that we have our undo and we have a redo buttons here we can have a preview already we have used this one preview and now a time to publish the website so publish means visible on the internet so go to publish and here you can find a publish to the web so you need to provide a name so i'm going to provide a tech guide ay so it is showing that is it is available and the web address will be something like this now copying this url and okay i'm publishing this now the site has been published so we can see by simply typing the sites.google.com view slash tech guide and the website is available